what is going on tonight, guys. So uh, I guess we're doing a round two on these uh, five below uh, shoes. Um, the other ones had a humongous crack in them and then started to basically chunk out. So uh, yeah, I just, and that was just from on, uh, on and off wearing. Uh, so I just wanted to see what basically going from, I think this is, I don't know, the water park that I normally skate and in the last video where I did a $5 skateboard here. Um, so yeah, just wanted to see what continuous wear from here or basically through here and uh, from here back to my house would do to them so uh yeah uh let's get these on and uh, get to skating them and then uh finally get rid of these what is it maui and sons yeah these maui and sons shoes uh because they're walmart shoes and they're probably not gonna really be lasting too much longer especially with uh skate season starting to ramp up with it getting warmer and it getting to spring and yeah so Let's get to it.
Central Park. It's about two point, I think two point one or two point two miles, depending on which route you take. And uh, yeah, only took two miles in to get failure of the shoes almost entirely. Well, not entirely, but uh, pretty much just for these shoes to kind of fail and give out. And uh, yeah, so that's how much your five dollar shoes will get you is about two miles before they start to really show signs of significant wear. <clears throat> Yeah, so other than that, um, these shoes are definitely not something you really think should invest in. Um, but yeah, like I said, just two point something miles. And that's what you're getting is a blown out sole within two miles or a little over two miles. But uh, yeah, definitely not something you should be uh, investing in. And especially if you want shoes to last a lot longer than just two miles. But any, but other than that, like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys next video.